Hi guys! <laughs> so I went to IKEA and finally they have something. So it's just before Christmas, obviously all the stuff's getting in. And I love my Miltonops Miltoniopsis. Look at this one. Oh it's fantastic. Well it has two spikes. I don't know how it's gonna go. Um this one's in quite a poor shape, but this was the last one and I was like I don't care, I don't have this one and it's very nice also has the second spike but the second spike is like i think it's very dehydrated it's, it's just because it was absolutely bone dry it was like really bone dry and usually you have to be like careful with miltoniopsis buying them bone dry but i actually had a great have had a great success with them so i don't mind i haven't had one miltoniopsis die and i have had one that was like without roots, without anything, it was on the way out and it managed to survive and bloom for me this year so I'm not that worried about it. So media is obviously, well just, it, it will have to be refreshed, they're soaking properly now because obviously they need some water but you can see that the roots are going greenish so they're not all dead. Um, but yeah, um, for me, uh, Miltoniopsis work in Lekka even in, in my environment, even if I keep 23 degrees, even in winter, and I keep all the lights on that they love. Uh, my ones are doing great. They're all re-blooming. absolutely love them. Um, but yeah, for me, for them, Leica works because I think it cools the roots down in summer when it's really, really hot. But yeah, that's where I'm going to be potting them. So other shopping. So other shopping that I did was great because IKEA finally has the lecker balls again. So this is great and they're quite cheap. I think they're like a fiver or something like that in IKEA. And these are the proper lecker balls that you can use for semi-hydro. I have a couple plants planted in semi-hydro and I bought some other type of grow stone and I really didn't like it. But this one is the real stuff. It's heavy, it doesn't move and it properly stays moist. Also, why I actually originally went to IKEA was for this, which is, I think it's a fantastic idea. It's like a mini um, terrarium, like grow, growing mini greenhouse uh, that you keep indoors. And I actually was looking for sometimes something for my dendrophyloxes. And I think this will do it because uh, just keeping in ways is not that good, but this one is great. I got it for 12 pounds, fantastic. So this I'm gonna be mounting and that's actually why I went to Ikea, but there's more. So also, I saw there finally the green pots. I love these green pots. Most of my plants that I could are potted in those green pots. I love them. I kind of, I can use different pots, but I really like to keep the color theme as well. It just something for myself you know I can keep you can keep in whatever but I just really like that green theme and, and just makes it all greener and finally I could put lots of the plants that I've had in like random pots I could finally put all the green pots on and yeah so I really like it obviously not all the pots are green because there are just two sizes for these ones so all the bigger plants will have to have different pots but i really do enjoy the green pots i think it kind of for me personally you know because you have to enjoy where you grow your orchids it's your space it's your hobby so i like to have those green pots so yeah that's what it is as you can see like for a year i couldn't get those pots and i had to use other colors so Boo. <laughs> but these ones actually need to get watered. Husband, you want to water my plants? No way. <laughs> yeah, so I'll do them myself. But yeah, thanks and see you next time. Bye.